Imagination and intuition are fundamental to the scientific endeavor, fundamental to scientific research. The way scientists work is by looking at data, collecting evidence, and through the evidence and the observation, then testing hypotheses and developing frameworks. To go from evidence and observation to hypotheses and frameworks requires a leap of creativity, which is, as I say, fundamental. Scientists have to be creative in their work. Many types of scientific research, but perhaps the best to give as an example, is curiosity-driven research, where scientists frame a question of their own choosing. The very best scientists are able to work out the question and then pursue the right experiments to reach an answer from the observable data. And once again, to try and formulate general principles from that data but it's their minds, the creative minds, which will help take, again, a leap of crea creativity to get to that formulation. The Royal Society's history is one of creativity. And only has to go back to the founders of the Royal Society and come through to the modern day. All the great um, scientists that have passed through the halls of the Royal Society have been creative in their own ways. And as many of them would say, if I've seen further, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants. Creativity is, as it always was in science, an essential way of discovering and understanding the natural world. What scientists try to do is to understand the natural world. There's no manual to the natural world. Over the centuries, we've come to understand it better. We've come to understand a theory of evolution, um, and we've come to understand so many other things to do with materials, the life sciences, the physical sciences. So, but it's creativity at every step that takes us from one stage to the next stage but it, creativity is not rewarded in itself. It's only creativity which is tested and tested through evidence and observation. The motto of the Royal Society is nullius in verba, which means take no one's word for it. In other words, be curious, be creative, and see where it takes you.